today we sniff, we crack, and we open doors with the Cameron Mini. Welcome to Lab 401 Academy. My name is Fabrice, and today I have the pleasure to introduce your teacher, the one and only French Key. He's a pen tester specialized in physical intrusion. He has been a physical pen testing trainer for government agencies and pen testers worldwide since 2009. He developed numerous tools and techniques for opening doors and secure facilities, including lock picking, key copying from pictures, high security lock bypassing, etc. etc. He gives talks about his specialties all around the world at various hacker and professional conferences. You can also follow him and contact him directly via Twitter at FrenchKey underscore FR. Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is FrenchKey for Lab 401. In this video, you will learn the basics of the MyFair reader attack to crack a secure MyFair badge, devices and software used to perform this attack, and the practical implementation of the attack, UID extraction, emulation to the reader, extraction of the dump from the badge, and emulation of the fully functional badge to the reader using the Chameleon Mini. Before we get our hands dirty, let's review the theory behind what we are doing. The MyFair reader attack is also known as the MFK32 attack. The MyFair classic 1 kilo cards use a proprietary encryption system named Crypto1. This encryption system was proven to be flawed, and there are several practical attacks that exist. A MyFair Classic card has multiple sectors, with two 6 bytes keys for each sector. When a card is placed on a reader, an exchange is initiated. Without diving into the protocol specifications, during this exchange, the first key sent by the reader is easily decoded. At this point, based on the result of the first read attempt, other keys may or may not be sent by the reader. The new Chameleon Mini Rev G makes this attack a lot easier than ever before. Regarding the hardware used for the practical attacks, there are multiple devices capable of this attack, notably the Proxmark 3 and the Chameleon Mini. The latest version of the Prox Green Chameleon Mini Rev G has dramatically streamlined the reader attack. The device is fully wireless using Bluetooth and its companion app can calculate the sniff key very quickly. In practical, we will need a Prox Green Chameleon Mini Rave G and a target MyFair reader for which we want to extract keys. Optionally, it's good to have a target badge that you want to duplicate. The plan of attack is as follow. Configure the Chameleon Mini to perform the attack. Swipe the Chameleon Mini on the target reader to get the keys. Use the application to automatically crack the sniffed keys. And finally, emulate this tag with the Chameleon Mini and open the door with the reader. In order to use the Chameleon Mini with the companion app on Android, you need first to open the app and connect to the Chameleon Mini. So here you see the button is gray. When you click here, the connect button turns green. And you click again, then the connection is made. So for this attack, what we will use in this case is slot number one. And we want to use MF detection one kilo. We have the option of setting the UID of the target tag here. Having the UID pre-configured allows us to easily intercept the specific keys for a target tag, if any. And because our device will have the same UID as the target tag, the reader might react differently. If you don't have access to the card to read the UID, you can still perform the reader-only attack using an arbitrary UID, like the one we have here in this case. But here, because we do have a target tag, we will want to use a UID from this tag. It's very easy to perform. In this case, you modify the type here. You take ISO reader, put the tag on the reader, 
get UID. It's copied to the clipboard. So now you go back to MF detection one kilo. and replace the UID with a target tag UID. When you have done this, you click on the right button, so it will update the Chameleon Mini. Let's go outside and swipe the Chameleon Mini to the target reader. All right, we are back in the workshop. So this is now time to click on the crack button here. And in a matter of seconds, we get some keys related to this badge. So it is important to note that while there are potentially dozens of keys in this card, we may not see dozens of decoded keys. There are three reasons for this. The card can use the same key for different sectors. The reader might only authenticate specific sectors, and it could be also that the read is incomplete. But now we have some keys, and we can use them to read the tag content, or at least part of it, and then emulate the part that we have read. In case the read is not complete, we can use the discovered keys to derive the remaining keys using the nested or the hard-nested attacks. And these attacks can be made in software with the RFID reader with a cross-platform tool LibNFC or using hardware using the Proxmark device. These hardware attacks are quicker than the software attacks and both techniques will be covered in future videos. In this case, with the keys that we have just decoded, we can take this badge, put it behind the phone, and the application will automatically use default keys plus the new found keys to decrypt it and make a dump of it. So here it's good, it only took a few seconds, and we can go to dump, and we see that we now have a new dump can view it and here we see the content so the first part here has content most of the badge is empty and the last sector here is full of content as well so we can now take this dump and put it inside the camera mini so now we still have one thing to do is to transmit the new dump directly to the Chameleon Mini, so we can use the Chameleon Mini to open the door. So to do this, we go to MF Classic 1K and upload dump, internal dump, and then we select the dump we just made. Uploading is done, just to make sure we write again the UID. And now this device has exactly a duplicate of this badge. So we can use it as a perfect duplicate to the target reader. Let's go outside and do it. All right, everyone, we are now back again in the workshop and you see it was pretty easy to duplicate this badge so with a little practice you can see that this attack is an invaluable vector for pen testers it is not uncommon to be able to have brief access to people's card during a pen test and only a few seconds can be enough to create a working clone thank you everybody for watching and i hope that we have learned a lot of things See you next time. Thanks again for watching and if you found this video interesting and useful, feel free to hit that like button and share it with your friends. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And if you need pen testing tools, visit lab41.com. And remember that at lab41.com, InfoSec is your career. Stay safe. See you next time.